No one feels safe riding public transit right now. People rely on transit to go to work, to get medical appointments, or to get groceries and prescriptions. So when someone is close up in your face and yelling and screaming, or if people are sleeping on seats that are designated for seniors, or people that live with disabilities, or if people are witnessing humans defecating, do you feel safe? We can't normalize this, and it is completely unacceptable. And it won't happen under my watch as mayor. Just the other week, Olivia Chow said the TTC is safe. But she has to say that, because her plan is to defund the police. And that's exactly what she will do. She doesn't have a clue about what the average TTC rider is going through in our city. She has no plans to address crime or disorder on public transit. And she has tried to cut police funds each and every year that she has been a politician, and she'll do it again. Enough is enough. If you aren't on the TTC for traveling, you have to move on. It's that simple. As mayor, I will immediately move on day one to stop crime and disorder on TTC. I will stop panhandling and accosting of passengers. I will stop people from sleeping on TTC stations or on buses or subways or streetcars. And I will stop disorderly conduct. And here's how I will do it. First, we will increase the special constables to at least 200 as a start. Second, I will make sure that they will be transferred over to the Toronto Police Service, where they will be highly trained and how to deal with people that live with mental health. And third, we're going to get those constables out, on their car, out of their cars to make sure that they're visible, riding on the subways, being at the stations, and being where they are needed the most. Third, I'll make sure that they're wearing body-worn cameras so that we can make sure they're getting it right and also to enhance accountability and transparency. Fourth, I will just add the new assist buttons across TTC to help neutralize emerging incidents. And fifth, we will create a minimum lighting standard at all bus and streetcar stops. Root causes of mental health are important issues to address. And if you go on my website, marksaundersfortoronto.ca, you will see a full and comprehensive plan on how I plan to deal with that. But the TTC is not a social service agency. The TTC's job is to get people to and from where they need to go safely. Here's what Olivia Chow does not understand, that the TTC is not a homeless shelter. The TTC is not a mental health agency. We have to crack down on every incident, every time. We can't let ourselves go down the path like other cities, like New York, Chicago, or Baltimore. Olivia Chow may scream and oppose us, but she does not have a plan. The only way to stop TTC crime is to stop Olivia Chow. Now listen, when you look at the polls, some people are saying that she has it in the bag, but let me tell you something. I am confident that she does not. This past weekend, I was across the city, corner to corner, and the more I spoke to people, the more I was convinced that most people do not want Olivia Chow to be mayor. To stop Olivia Chow, we have to unite. I have the best plan to protect Toronto's future. By voting for me, we can stop Olivia Chow. And we can stop crime. We will ensure that people feel safe riding on a TTC and in our city. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll take questions if anyone has any.